What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. This one is going to be centered around Chaos's defense and how he was able to get his first win of the Ultimate League against Problem in what was definitely the biggest upset to this point in the Ultimate League. Now, real quick, I want to give a shout out to two separate channels. The first one, Compton187. Some of you guys might have already heard of Compton's channel, but if you haven't, he uploads all of the individual games from all of the like competitive Madden broadcasts. So his channel is a great place to go if you're looking to watch a, a particular game and don't want to have to scrub through you know hours of a VOD to try and find whatever game you're looking for. He'll upload it within probably like a few days after it's broadcasted and you can just go to his channel and check out the game you want to look at. Now the other one, it looks like they're a very new account. Uh, I just found them a couple days ago. They're called OP or Op Madden Highlights. I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to be said. But essentially, it's in their name, they upload the highlights of all of the Madden tournaments. So it looks like they're uploading, it's like three to six minute clips, and basically it's just all the big plays. So if you want to have, to, if you don't want to have to go through an entire game and just skim through it and try and look for the big plays, you can go to their channel and check out, you know, all of them for you already aggregated into a smaller video. So Compton's is really useful for if you're trying to look for you know tendencies throughout the game and try to see how it progresses if you just want to see the big plays and don't care about that stuff op or op madden highlights is definitely a good place to do that as well now onto the video chaos throughout the tournament up to this point was running a lot of 4-3 normal tampa 2 and then he would run dollar as well to supplement it in like super pass obvious situations and in this game he actually changed it up and he did something that a lot of other competitors are also doing and that's calling a lot more cover 3 cloud he started doing it Joke and Safa do it out of 335. Dubby did it a lot this past weekend out of 34 odds. So it's definitely a coverage that's gaining steam as the ultimately is going on. And there's probably several reasons for it. My best guess would be that it mimics Tampa 2 on one side with that cornerback being in a flat zone. So it could throw off your opponent's progressions if he sees that cornerback and says, oh, it's Tampa 2. And then you look, you're trying to make your reads, and all of a sudden, you know, the middle of the field's not open because it's a cover three shell. And it can, you know, cause hesitation, cause bad reads and kind of just mix up your opponent especially with two deep shells being the predominantly popular style of defense this year now now this first example is going to be second and ten problem single back deuce close and he's running his bench setup so basically he tries to quick snap it goes with a max protect corner route on the left side and then he goes with an in route on the other side that he likes to try and playmaker upfield as he rolls left so what you're going to see here is the cover three cloud does a great job the cover three shell because chaos goes with the baseline press so Basically, this corner route, you see this outside zone defender is still backing up because that's how deep thirds play this year. That's why they have a tendency to get beat deep because of how he's playing right now. But because he's playing like that and backpedaling and not instantly sprinting back, it puts him in a better situation to defend against that out route. Now, this chaos knows that problem is going to want to playmaker that in route upfield so this is really good preparation from chaos as you can see he's just kind of jogging with the route see how he's jogging with it he's not sprinting he knows the playmaker's coming he just has to react to it he sees the playmaker turns up field that's not open the corner route's not open he also in doing all of this sends the outside flat zone who was guarding the hard flat at the quarterback problem can't throw the ball away in time he ends up taking a sack by anthony barr now this time problem third and two at the 17 and this is another great defensive play by chaos still in that cover three cloud but now notice that he's using this outside linebacker who his responsibility in the cover three cloud is to shoot out and play the flat but in this case problem in the single back wing formation and really there's nothing that problem has ever done out of this formation that immediately attacks the left flat he never like puts the outside receiver on an out route or anything like that so chaos knowing this tendency knows he doesn't need to immediately respect that side of the field and so he's going to go ahead and user this defender throughout the play so right here problem going to go with the single back wing drive try and motion in this post route and chaos plays this beautifully so problem has the drag route from bo jackson going across the middle of the field which will eventually get over you know to this area of the field that chaos's user is supposed to be in so what chaos does to delay this and allow his defensive line more time to try and get to problem and get some pressure on him is he chucks the route in the middle of the field as you can see right here he chucks him slows him down a little bit and by slowing him down it allows this other vertical hook right here to go ahead and play him for a little bit longer until he gets over now chaos immediately recognizes what problem wants to do sits underneath and this is actually really important that pro that chaos is underneath this route because you might say oh well holden you know chaos is in a three deep shell so he's got that middle safety in the middle of the field right here 
and he doesn't have to worry about him throwing that post route, but that's definitely a very low pointable pass right there for Problem. If Chaos's defender wasn't underneath like that, Problem could probably go with a low point and squeeze that in. We've seen Tweez squeeze in tighter low points than that up to this point in Madden Ultimate League. So great position by Chaos underneath to deny the low point. He chucked the defender over the middle. The pass rush eventually gets the problem as he tries to step up in the pocket, ends up taking a sack and has to go ahead and take three points with the field goal. Now this final example later in the game here, 4th and 11 for Problem in pretty much the game. If he doesn't get this, Chaos in field goal range can take a 9 point lead and once again 4-3 normal cover 3 cloud and Chaos just has all the right defenders in all the right places. So Problem goes with the route concept at a single back wing here and Chaos just knows where he needs to be. Right here, user defender, he's using the left side of the field, this left side hook curl. So he sees the post route breaking and he knows that's my guy, I have to follow him. Now on the left side, Problem went with an out route out there. But because Chaos now is not using that outside linebacker, he doesn't have to worry about shooting out to the out route. The outside linebacker did it for him. The out route's not open. Problem loves to playmaker that in route upfield, but because of the fact that Chaos was on the left side hook curl, the right side hook curl was able to sit on top of that playmaker up in route, and that's not open. And then the clear out route downfield, obviously can you can throw it if you want a one-on-one -on -one scenario, but fourth and 11, you'd like to throw something a little more certain. So right here, Problem literally nowhere to go. He has nothing to do. He's just going to go ahead, try and test Chaos's user. Chaos did have, or Shannon Sharp rather, did have a step on Chaos right there. But as you can see, a very tight window. You see the under pressure call out at the bottom of the screen. So under pressure, very tight window between essentially two defenders being sandwiched. Would have been a super tough catch. And that's just the kind of predicament that Chaos was putting Problem in. He had to be making these perfect throws throughout the game essentially to get anything going in the passing game on offense and it resulted in Chaos taking his first win 27-13 over the GOAT problem. So that's going to be it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take it easy.